Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Nude. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box, Virgo, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Your overall energy, Virgo, interesting. I don't think this has come up for overall energy yet for anybody, but this is the, an extra card in the deck. So let me see what this is. Hmm. I'm getting that you're going to be sharing your moments, moments of transformation with others. You could be teaching in a sense. You may not even realize how you're helping others through this speaking of your transformation. So along with this, you have the Ten of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, something that you've been through in the past, okay? Something you're speaking about what you were blind to, why you were blind, what you could have been through. It was some sort of ending, right? Could have been romantic, could have been a betrayal. Whatever it is, it was very impactful upon your life. And I feel with you speaking about it, whomever you're speaking uh, to about this, you're helping just by speaking. Whether you, like I said, whether, whether you know this or not, you're helping them move forward here. Very interesting. Okay. So can you clarify this overall energy? The chariot. Yeah. See, you're helping them move forward. You're helping them let go with the four of pentacles and the five. <laughs> uh, Virgo, you're really showing them that they're not alone. Yep. Through you sharing with them, they feel less alone. They're able to move forward. You're connecting with their heart. And through your connection to their heart, they're connecting to their heart. And they're able to, it's like their heart is able to speak to them and help them move forward. Okay. Concern. Hmm. Wherever they're at in life, I don't know if they're going to share this with you, but they're very concerned, okay? And it has to do with their stability with house here, okay? With the Four of Pentacles, they've been holding on so tightly to something because of this concern that with your speaking about your experiences, they're able to let go and release resistance and because of that good things are going to happen to them they're going to see that they just said the light of day you you're literally going to be the light in this person's world all right tell me about the ten of swords hmm el shadow self the hidden inner swamp the ten of wands something about what happened to you virgo has to do with Ending something and beginning something new. Knight of Cups. And you're also going to be speaking about love. I do feel that there's a love offer coming in. And this is one of the reasons why you're speaking about it. But this is part of that new beginning here. And trusting this new beginning. Mature man. Here's that love offer. So this person could be older than you or you older than them. Tell me about the two of swords, the ten of pentacles, the judgment card. I told you, you're the light in this person's day. 
but every day you speak to them. Two of Pentacles, Judgment. Oh, wow. All right, you're actually going to be the catalyst for them to make a big decision in their life. It does have to do with stability. And this is exactly what they need for their big change to occur for their metamorphosis. So you're the agent of change here. Pretty huge. You're huge with that with their rebirth. You're making their rebirth a little bit easier. You're taking their blinders off just through your experience. You're not even telling them what to do. Three of Cups. Yeah. So because of you, Virgo, they are going to be celebrating about themselves, about their, you know, they're going to be appreciating more, even of their circumstance, they, even though the, their concern, their recognition of appreciation through your words is big. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so this is about your love relationship here. Yep, Ace of Cups, Four of Swords. So you've healed, but you're still taking this slow. This is new love. Nine of Cups. It's, it's what you wanted. It's what you want. And it's here. And you know this. You're feeling it. You will feel it. Expectation. It's what you wanted. It's what you were expecting. You're getting exactly what you expected. Because for you, there wasn't a plan B. <laughs> That's just it. Okay, so tell me about the Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. So we have no. Hmm. And the Seven of Swords. Wow. This is the energy you're speaking of with this individual that you were in. You were in the pit of it. You didn't recognize any opportunity that was coming along. You had just a distrust in everybody. You had this sadness, this regret, this victim mentality. Um, you just, even opportunities that came along, you said, no, no, no. And through this experience, you're allowing them to open their eyes because of this two of, yeah, this two of swords that they're in the blind seal. They're not allowing themselves to see what's around them. And you're allowing them to do this. You're giving, you're their permission slip in a sense to notice these opportunities. Yeah, you are their gift. You are their gift, truly. And as you are their gift, you're getting the gift of love with this person. Beautiful. So what is your advice, Virgo? It's a lot of wisdom here, Virgo, that you're offering. Whoa. So we have the Justice card, the King of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Fool card. Hmm. Keep doing that work. Because our work is never done anyway. They just said you're good at it. So utilize your intuition. I feel like they want you to teach something. Right? Take a chance and teach. You'll know what that is, they're saying. It's like share your wisdom, okay? Maintain this balance. Seek to maintain this balance here with the justice card of the body, mind, and spirit, okay? Okay, yeah. Marriage. They're saying merge that masculine and feminine energy and seek to maintain this balance this is that balance because this is coming to you as well that union with the other okay all right so what does the oracle have for virgo what advice huh. 
enchantment. We are enchanted when the muses sing the art spirit into us. Mm -hmm. Yep, you will be their muse in a sense because you're the catalyst for their change, for their action, okay? Wow, Virgo, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box, Virgo, if you are interested, as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.